Working on a 92 SL500. The convertible top stopped working. So I just want to show you how I do a quick diagnostics on it. This is just for the convertible top. Now, so to show you, I always want to start the car when you're working with these older guys. So I go to activate and nothing but things, right? All right. But, so what you want to do is turn the ignition on. You want to have the ignition on this position. Turn off your radio, turn off your AC. What you're going to want to do, you have to have a blink code, simple machine built. This is my version of it. I have others. I have a star, but in this case, I like to use my simple machine, which is something I put together at Radio Shack. It's a diode, LED diode, uh, some banana clips, alligator clips, and basically I attach two of these, make sure they're not touching on one pole, put another one on another pole, and at the other end I have these banana plugs of these wires. I have three of them, obviously. You can find these and they fit perfectly into the diagnostic port. By the way, the 92 diagnostic port is here on the right-hand side, passenger side. So you want to put the one that it's by itself into slot 16. That's the constant power slot. Then whatever slot you're doing diagnostics for, from one of these two, you want to put it into that port. So for the convertible top on, I believe, a 91 to 92 SL, it's slot 10. And then you want to take the last plug that you have and what you're going to do is you're going to put it temporarily into one which is ground. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there for one, two, three and then I'm going to let it go and I'm going to look at my dyad and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. So my code one is 28. What you wanna do is make sure you read all the codes. So you're gonna go ahead and once again, after getting the first code, you're gonna put it back in, but you gotta be quick to count. As soon as you take it out, you gotta start looking at your LED and counting to not miss a number. So we're gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna short it out for one, two, three. Take it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29, 28, 29. Short it out once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So the codes I have are 28, 29, and 30. So for those codes, we're going to Go and check what those codes are and be right back. Codes are 28, 29, 30. That's no speedometer signal, no axle vehicle speed signal sensor, uh, speed sensor signal, and soft operation blocked. Um, the tip with code 28, 29, 30, once you repair it, probably should look into things like the cluster and, and other things could be a variety of things, speed sensors. Um, the only thing is once you actually repair it, you code with this, trick with this code is to read it twice without attempting to clear it and then actually clear it. So that's a big tip for 29, code 28, 29, and 30.
I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Go back to the car. Back to the car. I still have the ignition on, and I read the codes once with you before. So like I said, normally I would just do the clear procedure, but you have to read this code twice. So I'm gonna put the banana plug back into one for three seconds. One, two, three. And go back to reading the codes. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be 28, 29, and 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you how to clear the codes. I'm gonna make you sit through this again. Now that I read the codes twice without attempting to reset them, I'm gonna show you how to reset it. Basically what you do is you put into slot one and you leave it there for about seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You take it out. Let me go ahead and just do it one more time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now what I'm gonna do after I held that down for seven seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition off. Take the key out. Put the ignition back on. All right. Let's see if my soft top works after clearing the code. Might have to drive the car for the module. 